Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Wario World, and we're about to start the first level of World 2! It's Horror Land, or Spooky Land, or something, I forget the exact name of the world, but we'll see right here. It is Spooktastic World, Horror Manor. Okay, so the level's name is Horror Manor, and the world's name is Spooktastic World, and in each level, the Magons, or Magus, or whatever, uh, they change, uh, look. Even in some of the, like, some, like, the next level's world will have even a, new, a different vari- another variation of the Magons and Magus or whatever. So here's another mini-boss. He doesn't have his own music, but he's, I still consider him a mini-boss. Yeah, when he does that slap move, you can, uh, ground pound him. And he shoots missiles! Because he's a skeleton hand, he'll do whatever he wants. Just like the ninja go, ah, blah, blah, blah. Just like the ninja go set, the ninja go Legos. They can have motorcycles if they want. They're skeletons, dang it! Oh yeah, I didn't mention, uh, in the top left, whenever you kill an enemy, it'll show you how many enemies you've killed in the game. So you're going up, and the, it'll, it has, like, a fist. Falcon's fist! Here's the Magons. First skeleton version of them. Oh, all, all the enemies change, actually. There's different rhinoceros guys and, uh, blastoises. An Aerodactyl. No, he doesn't look like Aerodactyl. The, the purple dinosaur thing. And yeah, the purple pterodactyl thing. Up here is the red treasure. Uh, weird floating blue globes things. Okay. Over here. We have a switches. Switches. And a trapdoor. Uh, this one, yeah. This one's kind of a weird little maze thing. You can't really see anything. What? Okay, there we go. And here we go. Woohoo! Wow! <laughs> bouncing on their heads. Okay, I think you can skip this one if you go across the edge. Uh, but I, I'm gonna fight. Here's the yellow one. I, I forget which one. I would forget what power this one has, but it has a different laser type attack. Uh, let's see what it is. Okay, he shoots missiles at you. I think the the next one, the blue one, uh, shoots homing missiles at you. Dang it. Curses. Okay. Uh, we got, we're, we're gonna use, uh, that crystal guy to do this. Of course you need to use the spin move, like, you know, everything else. But we're gonna use this guy. Basically what you do is use the spin move on this platform and you will go upward. Uh, in the first video I was talking about, uh, if you... Uh, pay if you die, you get a game over. Then you have to pay a certain amount of coins, and then you can continue from the exact point you left off. Uh, but in each world, the price of them goes up. So in the first world, it's a hundred coins. Okay, okay, here's a sprightling. I thought they were much later in the game when they started coming into holes. But uh, uh, what was I saying? Dang it, I hate my ADD. It's not really like a crazy, stupidly, uh, disease-like ADD, but I kind of have ADD for all kids. Missiles! My god, Zors! Whoop! Whoa, lots of missile Zors. Oh, I was talking about game over. So in the first world, it costs a hundred coins, in the second world it costs two hundred coins, in the next world, in the third world it costs three hundred coins, and then in the final world it costs five hundred coins, so they skip four hundred, go right to five hundred. I'm not sure if you can do, okay, you might be able to do it like that, but I don't want to, uh, I won't do it, because it'll take too much time. These, these weird things, uh, they basically run around in the water, try to come up and stab you. I don't know how they can dive down in a shell pool. But yeah, they do that. Okay, this one's, uh, you gotta jump against platforms. You 
because you don't you run into those spike balls over there. I've never actually went that way, so I don't know if it works or not. Dang it! I don't think you even lose half a heart if you fall off. You might. I don't. No, you don't. I lied. I'm a pooper. Okay. Okay. You're cute. Eeps of Zerzors. Gonna jump on this thing? No, wait, no we don't. Dang it. Oh, okay. That's helpful. No! Versus... Oh, oh god. Whoa. That was close. I think there's a spring at the beginning if you don't feel like going through the whole thing. Okay, um, I think we have to go down here, I'm not sure. There's nothing down here except this thing. Which is, it's not really a mini-boss, it's more just a regular enemy. It's kind of like a mini-boss, though. Ah! Some, sometimes the enemies just, like, randomly vanish. Who knows that? Oh, dang it, I hit the garlic guy. I paid. <laughs> oh, yeah, these got... These guys' price goes up whenever you use them, so the first one will be... Uh, the price of those guys also goes up during the world, but, uh... They w the price of the, uh... The garlic will go up every time you use it. So th first it's 30 coins, and then it's 40 coins, and then it's 50 coins, and so on and so on. Okay, let's get this guy. And... Okay, uh, this one's kind of tricky. Uh, and go up here. And there we go. I do love recording my videos uh, in the den. When my dad is in the living room feeding the wood stove by wood or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think my dad. I don't think I told my dad I was recording. I think he's in there, so uh, I don't want him to like come in and be like, "Call Sam, uh, dinner or uh, even though it's 8:30, uh, or uh, your toothbrush was over the sink again <laughs> or something." is not actually say stuff like that. His voice is nothing like that, but, uh, I'm just joking. Okay, these spike balls up. This one's kind of tricky. Oh, I messed up. But up here, uh, it's a, it's a technically an optional crystal person. Crystal monster. But you, I'm not sure about this one, but you might be able to, like, go around the very end, edge of the portal. And, uh, the very edge of the portal and, oh, dang, I didn't get him and get the switch without fighting him. I'm not sure though, I forget. Because the very edge of the bubble, I mean, the very edge of the platform isn't inside the bubble, so you probably can't walk around without fighting him. Yeah! Okay, oh, okay, good. Sprightling in here. Green one, there might, is there anything over here? Just another. It kind of looks like a knock. I think the idea is that he's a not like those, one of those metal things you find in a door that is supposed to, you're supposed to like, use it to knock. You know those things are pointless. Yeah. Can I like jump across here? No, I cannot. Blue glow. Here we go. Okay, here we go to avoid the electrosity. And that was a uh, crystal ball, I believe. So. On the bottom, the door is sealed up, so you have to go upward. And here is the blue dude. And here's a crystal blastoise or whatever. I'm not gonna call him by the real name because it's too complicated and stupid. Okay, here's a silver door knocker guy. I'm gonna call him door knockers. But they shoot giant lasers! Charge them the lasers! Okay. Yeah, they shoot giant lasers, and those are deadly. I don't want to get caught in this one's very easy. Oh, there's a thing there. 
Ah. It better be garlic. Yes, it is. Go! I'm pretty sure if there's not a spriteling or a treasure, I mean, a, a statue piece in there, there's always a box. Dang it. I'm gonna throw him at him. Dang it, I got hit by a lace sword. Slam! Die. Explosion. Let's use the other side of the sealed door. Now let's jump in the stuff! Wee! We can't! I, I could have avoided this, but, uh. I didn't feel like it. Stomach ache, I don't know why. Slam! Spam! I wonder if the chest gives more uh, coins if you do more thingies. I'm not doing very good this time. Sharpedo, why not? Uh, you might not know it. Sharpedo is a uh, third series Pokemon. He's a, he's a state, or he's a uh, an evolved form of Car Carnivine. I think, no, it's not Carnivine. It's another Pokemon. Croc? No, not Croconaw. Carvana, that's it. It's the evolved form of Carvana. I actually don't really like Pokemon that much, besides the uh, card game. I've mentioned it before. Uh, I watched it. I kind of watched it. I don't watch it, but I like if it's on, it's okay. I have no idea what happens in it. And, like, what's happening right now. All I know is that the series title right now is Sino. Sino. I call it Sino. Maybe it's pronounced Sino. Sino League Victors or something. That's all I know about the current TV show. Uh, I am not an RPG person, and I am not a Pokemon game person. I do like, I kind of, I do like, uh, naming my Pokemon, though, even though I didn't even kind of plan things when I played Pearl. That's, that's like, the only Pokemon I, game I legitly played. I, th I think I mentioned this before, but, uh, I had Pokemon Yellow, and uh, I didn't beat that. I'm way too young, and besides, uh, Oh, I was too young, and also, uh, when I was fighting the third gym leader, uh, my game ran out of batteries, and I was like, I hate this game, and stuff. I, and I think I, uh, my game broke after that. I still have the cartridge, but, I, as I said, it broke. It, it's battery died. Uh, those ice blocks, I think you just, like, immediately slip off of them if you try to walk on them, I don't know. I, I just stay away from them. Try walking. Okay, you can't grab onto the side of them. That's something. That's something new every day. Wait, okay, it switches directions. Notice that. It's getting cornier. It's getting cornier. Corneria. Okay. To some directions and jump onto the platform. Boop. Sorry, I was drinking some water. I was just using one hand to move myself. And it was like pre pressed up against my uh, 
my, my knee, so it pressed the L button. See, up here is what? Nothing. Yay, I love nothing. Don't you? No, you don't, because I'm stupid and you're not. Okay. Maybe you are stupid, I have no idea. Okay, this part is kind of annoying. There's like, I think this one's just a tile. Yeah, it's just a tile. And then that one's also just a tile. Let's go in the, uh, thingy. Whoop, the, the truck door. Sonic Boom! I don't know why I said that. Kidoki! But it's pretty easy. Yay, we got all the hearts, or not the hearts, the statue pieces. Still gotta get used to saying that. Okay, there might still be some. Yeah, I think there's another trapdoor later in the level. It's like at the boss trapdoor. Yeah, here we go. I think this is a, just a. No, it's a box. Over oh, there's a garlic machine. Yeah, and the money, like how it gains every time you use it, transfer to every garlic machine. Okay, purple switch. Take that. And go over here and get our purple treasure. This is actually interesting watching me like walk around and just kind of mindlessly beat up enemies. Hope it is. Just be thankful I didn't let's play Bionicle Heroes. That would be really boring. Again, I'm sorry if uh, you really wanted to uh, see my Mainland Mayhem Let's Play, but I can't stand playing that. Okay, I got, if you don't, no, I've been left playing Marvel's not here, Mainland Mayhem at this time, and, uh, I beat an entire world, and then, I, I mean, all eight levels, and then I got to the boss, and then I lost a bunch of times, so I just couldn't put it on YouTube. I just really don't want to put it on, and I really don't want to keep replaying the same Saken levels over and over again, even though I've already played them like a billion times, and I'm sick of them so much. I don't want to play an entire world again because the bosses were stupid cheap. I hate the boss. They're so awful. I can't stress how awful the bosses in that game are. They are just so unforsaken playable. And wow, a Magu killed me. Right, killed me. He hit me. I can actually need some help. I don't even want to talk about those stupid, cheap bosses anymore. Ugh. Jesus. Okay, and here we have the last sprightly. It better be the last one. Yes, it is. All we need is the pig treasure. Ooh, ow! I think we have all the crystals. Oh god. Need some garlic, really. Badly. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see the floor. That's really good, this boss is hard. Yeah. Boom! It's like as soon it's like the quickest you could possibly get into the boss turbot. Okay, here's the uh the boss. I didn't realize but I think the pink the pink the, have I been saying shine sprites? It's sprightlings. We used to call them shine sprites for some reason, but I think they always tell you about the boss. This one, I remember him saying it's called the Brawl Doll. Um, he's very strange and, uh, he's not, really the, he's not the easiest boss, but he's not the hardest one either. Because Ed, he shoots these lasers, these little sparkle lasers. But laser, later he shoots like 20 of them. Probably more than that. Okay, uh, pile drive. Good old star halo. Okay, now he shoots them diagonally. 
you just stay right here. God. Triple kill. Good luck. God. Okay, this is where it's. That's like, look at that. That's kind of a unpredictable pattern. It's easy to dodge, but it's kind of uh, unpredictable. Go, ah, pain. Ah, forgot about this. I forget what happens if he hits you. I'm assuming just pain. Okay, here we go. I think the most you can get in your uh, spin attack count is a. Uh, oh, I think it's 25. The most you can get in your spin attack. Dang it! Okay, last hit. Okay, I can't survive much longer. Boom! Wings are just like coming off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get 115, I think it was. Ugh. Not a stun gate the whole day. Alright! Let's beat, uh. What was it? Horror, Horror Manor. And now we're on to the next level. Uh, I forget the exact name of it. As you can see, it's a. Uh, red and white tent. Uh, you can probably guess what the theme of the level is. Next time we'll go into level, the second level of the second world and probably fight the boss. So, uh, see you guys next time.